In this video, I'm going to talk about a whole bunch of different submissions from the pit stop position. Um, I'm going to do them all within one video, mainly because I'm not going to go over the very little details of finishing every submission, because I go over those in other videos as well. If you need more details on these particular scenarios or on specific things, send me a message and then I will make more specific uh, videos for you. But this video is going to be a good video for you to watch to get some ideas on what you can do from the pit stop and also some small details for each thing as well too. Uh, this video is going to cover a lot of the upper body joint locks, arm locks, arm bars, and uh, shoulder locks as well. So I'm going to have Joe inside my closed guard here, okay? Then I'm going to set up the side guard. I twist his elbow in really quick. Get my leg over his shoulder, make sure I have my proper position. Watch the setups and positional tips video on the pit stop position. I believe I said side guard before and then pit stop. So I'm here like this. I have my leg underneath, my other leg is over, and I have him tight. The first joint lock that I can go for is, see his hand? There's one, he's, one thing that's just sitting right there. He, you know, he's just relaxing and you know, you're going to be rolling and doing lots of different things. But the way his arm is right now, I can cover his knuckles, get my elbows in, push in, and then I can go for a wrist lock on him just sitting right there. The other thing I have is pinch my knees together, make sure I'm turning his uh, body out, pull his arm through, hip in, and then I can finish an arm lock from there too. Make sure you're pinching your knees together as well and pulling his arm in and have the elbows tight. Don't be all relaxed here because he's going to be able to stack into me. I want to turn my knees out. So that way it would go stack into me. If I turn my knees out, he can't stack into me. If my legs are just relaxed, he can stack into me. Now I can't finish the arm bar. So remember, positional tips, turn the knees out. The other thing I can do is I can go for the regular arm bar. I'll take my right arm, hook it through. My left arm is going to push on his head and then I want to swipe his head as close as possible. Here, as close as possible to his head and then cut my, my ankle angling out. So now when he goes to posture, he should have trouble. If both my feet are in or even just the one on the head, he can now stack me. So feet angle outward. Now I can go to finish my arm bar. Another option I have from the uh, pit stop position here is getting an underhook on his arm and shooting his arm up towards um, my shoulder and my neck, turning my body here. I like, to, I like to hug my arm or I clamp my hands, but usually with this one, with the pit stop version, I like to hug my arms together. And then I turn and I squeeze and I get the arm crush from there. Another option from shooting through, once I shoot through and I get this overhook like this, go to pull your arm out, he's gonna have trouble. Now I can switch through and go for a Kimura on him and finish the Kimura from there. From the Kimura, I can go for more wrist locks as well. So I take my hand, I cover his wrist, cover my own, uh, cover his knuckles, cover my own knuckles, and then push through and I can go for uh, a wrist lock from there. I also have the option from this overhook to push his head away, slide my knee out, and I can go for an omoplata. I have an arm bar sitting right here. But I can also go for an omoplata, start hipping out, and then work to finish from there as well. So that's a ton of things that we can do. So I'm here like this. And the reason why I'm showing this all in one video is because everything is so closely linked together. I want you to see that if one thing isn't there, there's something else that is there. So you can just attack, 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 attack once you get in this position. This position is so simple in theory, but so advanced and so uh, broad um, in regards to your attacking options. So I'm here like this, I come through, I get my pit stop position however way, watch the setups video, I come through, I have him tight, I'm turning my knees out. Now I can start attacking wrist locks. Look, I'm covering his knuckles. You can get a, a stiff wrist here. So he's getting a stiff wrist. Right now he's not holding his hand. But even with the stiff wrist, all I gotta do is push his knuckles down, start hipping up, and then I can finish as well. If he does grab his wrist to stop me from doing it, then I start switching to the arm lock. Here, so now I can switch to the arm lock. There. If I'm having trouble getting the uh, pit stop version arm lock, I shoot my arm through, 
put my hand on his face and his ear, slide my leg really close. Don't bring it way out. Slide it really close to his head, angle my feet out once I get my leg over, then I can finish that as well. I also have the option here of underhooking the arm like this. I can clamp my hands together and drive my elbows up, turn all the way down onto my shoulder, nose points to the mat, and then I can finish the arm crush from there, which lots of times, even when I don't finish the arm crush, I can switch right back to the arm bar because he no longer has a grip on his, um, on his arm, defending the arm bar. I can also go overhook on him. Now I'm here like this. Now when he goes to pull his arm out, he's, he's really stuck here. I can throw my arm over, switch to the Kimura here and finish that. I can keep the overhook, push his head away, bring my leg out, switch to the Omofana and finish from that position also. It's just a really crappy position for him. When we're here, <clears throat> let me show you all different angles so you can kind of see, um, especially since I'm going through all these different submissions. So I'm here like this. Let's say, for example, I go for an arm drag and I can't hit him, start trying to pull his arm out, and then I switch for the uh, pit stop position. Come here, turn my knees out like this. Now, wherever his arms are, there's something that I can do. Wrist locks, here. Pulling the arm through, going for an arm bar just from the pit stop, here. I can hook through, push his head away, go for the arm bar in this situation as well. Shoot for the overhook like this. Go for a Kimura. I have my omoplatas as well. Let's say, for example, um, I go for the Kimura and it's not working. I can switch to an arm lock right off the Kimura as well because he no longer has his grip just because I had this pit stop position. Let's go back. So there's just tons of things that I can do. Let's say he's trying to posture into me and I'm having trouble here. Then I'm starting to work for my um, arm lock here like this, I can bring him back down and I can work for different sweeps on him as well. I could come through and I could do even a reverse key lock on him also. If I keep his elbow tight, I can switch to a wrist lock from here. But the key is making sure you have a very good um, pit stop position. At one point I had my um, leg that's over the shoulder on top, you don't want that. You want the leg that's over the shoulder on the bottom, okay? So watch the positional tips video. So there's so many things sitting right there. You have wrist locks, you have arm bars, you have uh, Kimuras, arm crushes, different arm bars, omoplatas, and a whole bunch more. And there's that doesn't even include the chokes and the sweeps and the back takes that you can do as well. So if you're someone who plays close guard, um, or if you have a good body type to play the pit stop, which is usually most body types, I would say. I'm even me, I'm not very tall, you know, but my legs are fairly skinny, so I can play the pit stop very, very well. This works very well for me also. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you need individual instruction for any particular submission, let me know as well, and then I'll film it for you. All right, peace.